Hi, my name is Jen Regal. I am a naturopathic doctor and I specialize in infertility and also in oncofertility, which is the intersection of oncology, which is cancer, and fertility. I wanted to talk to you a little bit today about sperm banking. I know that it can be really scary when first diagnosed with cancer to know what to do next. This is a video that will help you understand your options for fertility treatment and to understand why it is that you need to undergo fertility treatment in the first place if you are a man who would like to conceive children in the future or even a teen boy who would like to have children in the future and you're going through cancer treatment. The first thing is understanding why you might need to bank your sperm if you've just been diagnosed with cancer. The main reason is that some of our cancer treatments will affect men's fertility and boys' fertility for being able to have a future pregnancy. So what do you need to know about your fertility and about sperm banking? When a boy has gone through puberty and is producing sperm, the easiest way to protect that fertility in the future is to do something called sperm banking or sperm freezing. This is a process by which through ejaculation, you produce a sperm sample and then it's frozen until you want to use it in the future. In the future, then those options for using that sperm would be intrauterine insemination or in vitro fertilization or intracytoplasmic sperm injection. So first, the guidelines for producing an accurate sperm sample. The first rule is no using creams, lotions, lubrication, and that includes saliva. Those do affect the sperm sample. The second would be no using condoms to collect the sperm sample. The lubrication inside of the condoms actually does affect the sperm as well. The second guideline is that sperm are best collected 48 to 72 hours, so two to three days after the last ejaculation. The third guideline is that the sample needs to be brought to the lab within one hour if you are collecting the sample at home. If you are collecting the sample at home, then the sperm should be kept close to the body in the container provided to you by the lab so that a greater number of sperm survive until they're frozen. When the sample gets to the lab, they will analyze the sample and then they will freeze it. Afterwards, they may call you to let you know whether another sample needs to be provided in another two to three days. I know this is a lot to think about. You've just been diagnosed with cancer and now you have another big decision to think about in your fertility for the future. Maybe you haven't ever thought about having kids before. This is something, however, that is best thought about before cancer treatment, as the options may be less available after treatment if nothing was done beforehand. If you have any questions, please ask your care providers, your oncology team, and your fertility team if you already have one. The more answers you have right now, the better.